we serve it off with ladies action where Juliet Worrell back in the screen to call Rachel Smith. Smith already had the upper hand having taken the first set at 21-14 and Worrell is making sure that she had to work much harder for the points in the second one having a response to every return. It was one of the longer rallies and then Smith literally dropped the ball giving Worrell the point. But Smith was not having it and quite often delivered some lethal shots. Even my cameraman felt the power. And soon enough, she had Worrell held to six points and nothing more she would get. As Smith just had the upper hand, talk about an easy drop shot. Game and match point. Smith serves and Worrell returns, but on the second goal at it, it's out of court as Smith conquers, signing it off with the second game at 21-6. The other ladies' match featured Maudlin Blunt back in the screen and Shireen Ward and the early exchanges saw a seesaw of points. Ward nicely guiding it down the line. Blunt would respond, coming to the net to go for the kill. I must give Ward credit for really making Blunt work for the points and when she delivered, she was spot on. But Blunt was the one who would conquer. This is where she was able to claim the first game at 21-12 before going on to take the second at 21-10. Into the men's action, Marson Johnson in the blue and green having taken the first game at 21-14 was looking to get over Shabir Greenwich in the same way. But it was not going to be that easy as Greenwich was fighting tooth and nail to make it an uphill task. And it was also keeping check on the score sheets. This point came down the line. Actually, Greenwich was truly showing he met business. What a backhand shot. But in the overall scheme of things, Johnson was the one who needed to win this game to stake claim to the match. And once an opening was given, he capitalized. Now he was the one who meant business. And here is where he booked his ticket to the round of 16. After what was a long, hard-fought game, British returned a bit too hard and it goes out of court. Johnson takes the second at 22 to 20. And the man defending his title, Mark Venom Griffith, back in the screen up against the young and upcoming Suave Clark, who gave the veterans some lessons in between. The crowd was loving it. I have to give it to the youngster. He came out guns blazing and was putting Griffith under pressure with quick and powerful returns. And though Griffith is known to calmly hold his own, he did cave at times, putting into the net. But Griffith is known for his quite lethal approach, reading the plays like a boss and striking just when it's hot. This play showed the experience. And as expected, he will conquer, but kudos to Clark for a well-fought game. Griffith was able to take the first at 21-12 and the second at 21-10. And the night's final match was a battle of the young titans, Raheem Nurse facing the screen and Ezekiel Ward. They were going shot for shot, dragging the ball low. The pace was quick fire, switching the pace and the shots before someone would get the breakthrough and watch as Nurse does just that to the crowd's delight. But Ward, having won the first game at 21-15, was not about to miss the opportunity to advance to the next round. And boy, did he have Nurse under pressure. And the errors started to mount up. And we could see Nurse losing his nerves in the midst of it all. And Ward fed into that and just applied the pressure even more. That was a sweet, sweeping backhand to gain the point. And soon enough, it was a done deal. Nurse trying his best to keep up, but Ward with the return on point. And then he forces Nurse to go long. And with that, it's the game and the match at 21-17. The quarter finalists have been decided.